Hello folks, welcome to today's demonstration video of my eShop project. Today's video is gonna be about the programming side of the administrator sign-in page. So without further ado, let's get into this. As you can see, this is the user interface of our page. Now I am gonna insert my administrator email address on this field. Then I am gonna click on this send verification code button. Alright, now we are getting a model like this. As you can see, title of this model is admin verification. Then here it says, please enter your verification code. Administrators have to enter their verification codes on this field. Then here's the verify button. Then this exit button is here to close the model. Now I'm gonna check out my email inbox for the verification code. Alright, in my inbox you can see a email like this. Inside of it we can see our verification code like this. Now I am copying it from this email. Now I am gonna paste it on this field. Now I am gonna verify it. As you can see, now I am signed into my administrator panel successfully. Let's inspect codes of the sign in process. As you can probably see, now I am viewing admin sign in.php file. To this administrator email address input field, I am adding ID like this. We are doing this to carry the email data to the JavaScript site using the Ajax method. Then when clicking on this send verification code button, it's calling a JS function called admin verification. Then these are codes of that administrator verification model. We are adding ID to the model like this. Then to the verification code inserting field, I am adding ID like this. Again, we are doing this to carry the verification code data to the JavaScript site using the Ajax method. Then when clicking on this verify button, we are calling a JS function named admin verify. So that's all about it. Let's see our script.js file. As you can see here, we are creating a global variable like this. Then you can see our JS function admin verification here like this. Then from here I am grabbing the administrator email address input field using its ID. Then here I am creating a new form data like this. Then I am appending administrator email address to the form data. Then here I am creating a new XML HTTP request like this. I am doing this to request from the send admin verification code.php file. Then this on ready state changes here to figure out the current state of our request. If the ready state is 4 and we are getting a response text as success, these codes are showing the admin verification model. Then from here we are sending our request to send admin verification code.php file using the post method like this. Then below that you can see our JS function admin verify here like this. From here I am grabbing administrator verification code input field using its id like this. Then from here I am creating a new XML HTTP request. I am creating this to request from the process of admin verification.php file. Then this on ready state changes here to figure out the current state of our request. If the ready state of the request is 4 and we are getting a response text as success, these codes are hiding the model. Then these codes are taking us to the admin panel.php file. From here we are sending our request to process of admin verification.php file using the get method like this. 
Let's see codes inside process of admin verification.php file. First on top of this PHP script I am starting the session like this. Then I am requiring our connection.php file to establish the connection with our database. Then the search query is selecting all from our admin relation where the verification code is equal to our inserting verification code. If there was that kind of entry, these codes are successfully signing in the administrator. After that, this is echoing a response as success. So folks, that's all I have to explain in this video. Stay tuned for the next one. See ya.